We are live at the Thursday night presentation here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. We've got the Washington Wizards and the home team. Here's Thompson, and now Washington starting group. We've got Wall. Hayes out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Gilbert Arenas, and it's unselled in at the five down low. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. And it's Wall with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Arena's trying to free himself up. And here we go. Right at the free throw line. Misses off the right iron. Wall looking it over. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Unzeld got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Wizards. Yeah, he, he's just relentless on the glass. Unzeld turning the miss Number into two. points because of his activity down low. That, that's what you love to see from your big guy. Now here's Wall. Now Hayes. A shot off that time. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Covered by Wall. Renus brings the double team. Here's Thompson. And terrific work on the offensive class when he picks up two. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. John Wall. And hey, guys, I'm starting to be concerned that the rim ain't going to survive some of these unsell jams. There's just so much power to his game. He's covered by Beal. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. First team foul. Shooting for the home team, number 32. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for <laughs> And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Washington with it, trailing by two. Outside wall. Hayes trying to break through. The second chance effort. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. All against Thompson. Out to the wing. Takes the 13-footer. And it's off the back rim. No good. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Eric Spolster gave me a few minutes to catch up, and his team does do a lot of dirty work. That's what he thinks gets them through games. Those extra possessions and those deflections on defense really make a big difference. 
We'll see if they can get that going again tonight. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And that speaks close to your heart, doesn't it? Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Beal. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Pass to Aguilar. Count the bucket Aguilar. coming off a perfectly placed assist. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys John need to be Wall. talking to each other. This guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Driving in. Rejected by Arenas. Outside wall. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, and Wall slams it home. Well, there's your dunk contest champion back in 2014. Wall puts a little extra on that one. On our at and 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Back to Thompson. Up and in Thompson. on the way up. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. So it's the Wizards now. And here's Wall. Here's Arenas. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Aguilar covered by Hayes. The pass to Thompson. Good on the three-point shot. Thompson's got five points so far. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now here's Hayes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And they're running. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Nails the open triple off the fast break. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Here's Wall. No good and tight defense there. Bothered that shot. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And it's blocked. And they get it back. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul, second Boy, the explosiveness of John Wall just creates such havoc for defenders. So fast, and the ability to get vertical as well. It's his first trip to the line. And he knocks down the first one. 
when John Wall has been healthy, this guy has been a consistently solid force with his speed and the ability to get downhill. Really incredible awareness. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Thompson with it. Eight points for him. It's a floater. That shot off. Here's Unsell. Here's Arenas. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Arenas has got his second bucket of the night. And how about the anticipation and imagination there from Unsell? Sees the play developing and delivers the pass on time and on target. defense Washington they trail by one shot clock at six puts it up off the left rim and out and so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington and he lobs it up toward the rim ball is turned over an outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Now Thompson. He's got eight. Clarkson passes to Thompson. Over the wall. It's rebounded by Anzel. Unzeld got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Past the wall. And here's Arenas. Fires for three. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Arenas has got seven. Uh, John Wall has an incredibly high basketball IQ. So you find the shooter and get it into their hands. Nails the 16-footer. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. Well, truth is, though, he's tall enough to get that off against anyone. Now here's Arenas. Seven points in the game. And Hayes throws it down. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Thompson against Wall. Clarkson looking for an opening. No good on the triple. Stolen away. And he comes up with the deuce. Six points for him. Here's Wall. He has five. Pass to Hayes. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 
158 left here in the first quarter. Great open look there. Arenas. And the Wizards lead by three. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Clarkson kicks to Thompson. Thompson is double. Pass to Aguilar. From deep, it's rebounded by Anzel. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And there it is for him. That's 12 points for Gilbert Arenas. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Thompson. Wall with a block. That's the length of John Wall. Boy, this guy has been so consistently good defensively. Arenas can't hit. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's rebounded by Anzel. Washington leading now by five. Pope loose. And here comes the break. Clarkson for three. Rebound by John Wall. Washington with the ball. 30 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Coming onto the floor for your home team, number 13. Thirty seconds left in the first quarter. Larson against Arenas. Here's Wall, and it's tonight. Aguilar covered by Hayes. That one good for two. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. From deep, Wall, and they get it back. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Washington out in front as they end the first quarter on a 15-6 run. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. Wizards leading by five. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Malone passes to Arenas. Clock at six. Here's Beal. Can't hit the free throw line jump. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Great D that time from Beal. Washington with the ball. High point lead, the biggest of the game. To the left side wing. Got a piece of it. Now Monroe kicks it over to Arenas. There's Beal with the three. That's in, coming off an assist from Arenas. Three. Beal's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Wizards. Clarkson against Arenas. Clarkson outside. Over to the left wing. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Monroe looking around. Beal up top. Outside Arenas. And the pass to Monroe. Got a hand on it. Ramos. He's covered by Beal. To the paint. Aguilar. Rebounded by the Wizards. 
and here is Monroe. Team foul. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for your home team. Number nine. Out left to the wing. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. He's covered by Arenas. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Monroe outside. Has to Beal. Back to Monroe. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Assisted by Monroe's Bradley got the lead up to eight now for the Wizards. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Ramos. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul. It goes on Moses Malone. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Monroe with it, bringing it up for Washington. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Passes it to Arenas. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And he lays it straight in. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Clarkson outside. Into the lane. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Well, Jordan Clarkson loves the offensive end, and he's in the flow on that drive. That's nice. Has to be it. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Count that one. Oh, time out, time out. And the Wizards lead by five. Home Unselfishness team. can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Second team foul. At the line for your home team, number nine. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Yeah. 
Both shots good from the strike. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Beal the pass to Arenas. From downtown. No good that time. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Now the pass to Ramos. Clarkson with the ball. He's covered by Malone. Shot clock at five. From deep three-point range. The shot by Clarkson, no good. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Beal's gone one of four so far. He's covered by Beal. And you can learn a lot about rebounding by watching this guy. Look at the fundamentals there on the box out. Arenas passes to Malone. That's good. It's Arenas with the assist. Yes. Arenas, Arenas has got his third assist on the night. Yeah, Malone's strength can be intimidating. He's superb at scoring even when the D is draped all over. He's covered by Beal. Pass to Clarkson. Here's Ramos. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Here's Monroe. Now here's Arenas. And he lobs it up, and Hayes throws it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Ramos. Malone with the block. Dude, how about the quicks there by Malone to get up and deter that shot, utilizing that size and reach for the rejection. Clearly a foul. Second team foul. This is his first Two chance at the line tonight. Gilbert Arenas taking two shots. And that one falls for Arenas. Both teams deciding to change it up. He's perfect from the line this time. And Eric timeout, Spolster timeout. wants a timeout. Hey, look at Gilbert Arenas. What a contribution. You've got to take a timeout, take a breath, and come up with a plan for how to stop this guy. Get ready for the dance squad! He's covered by Arenas. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, I mean, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. 
Ball against Thompson. Right side wall. Arenas kicks to Beal. It's good, and Serenas with the assist. Beal's got the lead up to 10 now for the Wizards. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Thompson. And it's Wall with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Down low, here's Arenas. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Kicks it to Thompson. Six to shoot. It's not going to go for him. And Washington the other way now. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Boy, that is a rugged finish from Beal. Absorbs the hit, guides it in. Nice. This is his second trip to the line in this one. One shot. Throw good, Beal. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Thompson. Second chance shot. Shoots a three. Rebound, Washington. Walls got four rebounds in this game. Passes to Arenas. Wall up top. He's covered by Thompson. Count that John bucket. Wall. Wall's got seven. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Inside. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Outside for Beal. Plays it up and banks it in. Beal's got 11 here in this quarter alone. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Knocks it loose. Wall with the steal. The finish. And Wall slams it home. Well, sometimes defense can be your best offense. Wall with the pressure got them going. He's covered by Arenas and taken away by Arenas. To the middle. Malone trying to break free. And finished off by Beal. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Beal's gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 60%. Clock at 4. Unloads from 13. Wall grabs the board. Wall's got his fifth rebound in this one. They have been board dominant this in this game. That's definitely been a factor John in crafting Wall. this huge lead. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Thompson surveying the floor. And just miss after miss right now. And so it's the Washington Wizards sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. Can't match up physically, you're toast. And that's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic from Gilbert Arenas. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. So on the floor for Washington, they've got Gilbert Arenas. Bradley Beal is out there with Moses Malone. And it's Wall, and it's unselled, and it's the five spot. Now Wall. Bradley Beal missing from long range. From deep, Arenas. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Aguilar. And there's the pass to Thompson. Covered by Wall. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal it's foul. going to be on John First Wall. Team foul. At the line for your home team, number two. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. And he can't hit the second. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now, here's Wall. He kicks it to Beal. Can't connect from long distance. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. Not a terrific start here in the second half. Four attempts, nothing to show for it. Passes it to Aguilar. And he banks in the layup. Six points for him. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Now here's Arenas. He's got 16 to the inside. Unsettled. Team and the call Number on two. the shot that sends first him to the line. Foul. First team foul. Yeah, easy call. The Shooting Wizards have put up good numbers at the West charity strike, converting six of at seven. The line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
the first one falls. Weber, he's checked in for Malone. And so he hits both. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Covered by Wall. And the powerful one-handed slam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Now here's Beal. 15 points in the game. John a Wall. nice shot by Wall. Boy, that was a much-needed bucket in the second half. They're now one for five. He's covered by Arenas. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Thompson inside. Good on the bucket. Seven points in the game. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe you have to scale back his aggressiveness. With plenty of time left in this one. Second We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Washington with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Outside Arenas. Just five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. And here's Wall outside. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Thompson in the corner. And the shot goes in. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Wall. Can't hit that one. Good D by Thompson. And too long on the shot. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Outside wall. And another miss by Washington. Thompson against Arenas. Thompson passes to Aguilar. With the drive. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Now, here is Weber. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Swatted away. And he's able to get it back. They're looking now at a sizable deficit. And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to really rush the game. And they need to avoid that. Thompson against Wall. Shot on the wing. It's rebounded by Enzo. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate, as always, guys. Uh, don't like to see this. And, boy, this really doesn't look good. That, just the way it happened. Boy, it's got to be so frustrating for him. As hard as he has worked, doing everything he can to help his team, just heartbreaking. Pass to Clarkson. up a three rebound Washington 
outside wall. The pass to Unsell. Tipped away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Cool, cool, cool. You two players. So it's Washington now. Back to Weber. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Clarkson. To the middle. Here's Aguilar. Well-timed pass, and he goes That's straight to the bucket for the layup. Jordan's got eight. Clarkson. And you're not going to pass up that kind of play. Ball passes to himself. Here's Arenas, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Yeah, the defender all over. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Washington. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Super yeah, two. Something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. Free throw good, Arenas. So for the Wizards, Hayes comes in for Weber, and it's Butler in for Beal. Both free throws good for Arenas. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Here's Clarkson. The teardrop falls in. Clarkson. Clarkson's got his second bucket of the night. Jordan Clarkson showing the ability to put the ball on the deck and make a play. Outside Arenas. Shoots. And it comes off the front of the rim. Defended by Butler. Dishes to Clarkson. And it's off from three-point range. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Butler. Off with the layup. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Here's Aguilar. That's good. He's five for nine. Timeout, timeout. Well, offensively, this timeout guy has been cooking. They're definitely not losing because of him. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. It's T-shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. Get ready for the third squad. Here's Chenier. Pass to himself. Misses off the left iron. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Shots good by Clarkson. How about Jordan Clarkson? The ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. Outside Butler, uncovered, and he gets the button. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment, you play the right way. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. away no good with the layup and he floats in for the easy two credit the assist on that one and yeah, they are really starting to push it now to the wing on the left it 
it's blocked. Defended by Butler. Oh, that's blocked. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Clarkson outside. The second effort, and he sinks the layup. He's got 14. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Butler on the way. No good off the back of the rim. Butler's gone one of three from the field here. Here's Aguilar. That's no good. He's five of ten from the field. Washington leading now by eight. Butler in the corner. 46 seconds left for the third. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Back to Clarkson, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. It's good. And it's a 12-point Wizards lead. Got to show more muscle to keep him off that low block. Well, it's a couple of things here, I think. Certainly the effort, the willingness to fight, and the willingness to push him off of his comfort zone. Clarkson outside. From past the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Clarkson's got nine. Well, you can give them a steady diet of pick and roll because if Jordan Clarkson gets downhill, it's trouble. And so it's the Washington Wizards in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And final quarter. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolster has on the floor. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Aguiar. And now they're shooting it pretty well. That was not something we would have said in that first half. Give credit where credit is due right there. A terrific assist. The dish to Clarkson. Passes it to Aguilar. Six on the shot clock. Clarkson outside. Second shot opportunity. No good there. Now Washington takes it the other way. Outside, Jamison. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Unsell. He's covered by Clarkson. Here's Jamison. That three off the mark. To the left wing. The pass to Aguilar. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through. Aguilar, second personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for Washington. Number 10, taking two shots.
Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And Washington making a change here. Monroe's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And the home team has possession. Nine-point game. Rebounded by the Wizards. Unzeld got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Hayes. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. Covered by Monroe. Washington with the rebound. Hayes has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Out to the right wing. Pass to Unzel. And it's blocked. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. So Gilbert Arenas has checked in for Washington. Gilbert Arenas. Four on the shot clock. Monroe from out on the wing, he knocks it down. And the Wizards lead by 11. You know, he hasn't taken as many shots tonight, but they're still ahead, and that means his teammates are delivering. There's the drive. Just and waiting to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Have a look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Outside Arenas. Pass to Unseld. Outside Jamison. He feeds it to Monroe. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. Personal foul. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Monroe at the line for one. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. The free throw drops for Monroe. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. To the right side. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defensive foul. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Shooting for the home team, number two, at the line for one. Washington leading now by nine. And Monroe kicks it over to Arenas. Passes it to Unseld. Down low. And Hayes throws it down. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward. And he needs to be as an undersized player. There's the pass to Aguilar. 
and a miss there on the triple. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Covered by Monroe. Pass to Ramos. No good from outside. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Arenas. Outside, Beal. To the paint, Monroe. The layup off target. He's covered by Arenas. Moves back up, and the layup is good. Just doing what he can. He's competing, and he's converting. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Now here's Arenas. Inside, unsell. That's in, coming off an assist from Arenas. And the Wizards lead by 11. Yeah, finishing in the face of some really good defense there. Unsell shows how difficult it can be to guard him inside. I didn't think he'd be able to get that one off cleanly. present our New Balance player of the game, Gilbert Arenas. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. Or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin? Pass to one zone. Passes it to Monroe. Here's Unzel. Shot clock at six. Here's Hayes, and it's blocked. And so it looks like Washington will retain possession here. The ball goes to Washington. Shot clock at two, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Ramos covered by Monroe. Now the pass to Ramos. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First it's going to go on Earl Monroe. Second team foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. The home team. Ramos taking two shots. And he makes the first. Both good from the line that time. Washington calls timeout. Every time I have a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just reach. Yeah. 
Washington leading now by seven. Arenas passes to Unseld. Pass to Monroe. Here's Unseld. Five to shoot. Here's Monroe. That's tipped. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Pass to Aguilar. Beal pulls it in. Beal's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Pass to Arenas. Back to Beal. Beyond the arc. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Wizards lead by nine. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. And there's the pass to Ramos. Clock at six. Aguilar covered by Monroe. Yes, that goes in. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Washington calls timeout. Beal deciding where to go with it. Outside Arenas. Driving the lane. Rebounded by Clarkson. He's covered by Arenas. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded closer. No good that time. And so it's Monroe with it, bringing it up for the Washington Wizards. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Two minutes remaining. Here's Arenas. Two minutes. Can't connect from short range. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Covered by Hayes. Wizards foul. Earl Monroe. John Wall checked in for Monroe. Third team foul. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter. Shots good by Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson unafraid of the big time delivery. Outside wall. He dishes it to Arenas. A stupendous finishing trap. Arenas has got 20. You know, a, a good job by the defender of not getting fooled by the step back, but he still got the shot to fall. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. 116 left to play in the final quarter. All with it. Pass to Arenas. And good. Coming off the assist by Wall. 22 points for him. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. This is the very definition of desperation time. You've got to score every trip. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into correction. All with the bounce pass. Arenas passes to himself. It drops. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. Marks it on the wing. It's good! And he has brought them to within two points. 
That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Rolls it up high. Well, the coach loves this kind of ball movement. Anytime you create something inside the free throw line, you know it's a good look. No room for them to make a mistake here. You got to almost play perfect from here on out. It counts. And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Third team foul. Here's Washington now, and so they foul intentionally. Had to foul, and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Shooting for Washington. Gilbert Arenas at the line for two. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. So it gets them both, and it's a three-point game. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. Pointer for a score quickly and take the foul. Shot from the inbound. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbounds pass. I like those quick hitters. Fourth personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting for Washington. Gilbert Arenas. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's able to hit the second one, and that will put them up by two. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. Guys, your thoughts? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. Well, they To tie it up. Huge shot to tie it up. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside walk. Number two. Second personal foul. Teams in the penalty. Shooting for Washington. John Wall taking two shots. Shooting two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. A nice defense right there by John Wall. He's got all the physical tools, length, strength, and quickness. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. 
Walls got the first basket here in overtime for the Wizards. Passes to Clarkson. Over Hayes. Got a piece of it. You know, some might say Hayes plays the game angry. And there's there was definitely something angry about his defense there. What an emphatic rejection. Now here's Beal. Pass to Hayes. Over Aguilar. It's deflected. They get it back. Shot clock at three. Wall, that's a two-pointer. And the shot no good, a bit short. A minute into overtime and what has been a great game so far. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from Beal. And there's the feet, the wall. Unsell. It's good on the putback. And the Wizards lead by four. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. defense the Wizards he's covered by Beal pulls up on the elbow he can't hit that time now Washington takes it the other way to the inside and finished off by Beal well, Bradley Beal letting you know there's still an explosive level to his game off his feet easy finish Beal's gone 6 of 12 in the game from the floor Clarkson against Arenas. Clarkson passes to Aguilar. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Two minutes. The pass to himself. It's deflected. Arenas against Clarkson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. They get Gilbert Arenas. This, to me, is when Clarkson is at his best. When he's pushing the action, being aggressive, it carries over to the rest of the team, guys. Jordan Clarkson at the line for two. Good on the first, and that brings them within five. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control, and he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Tremendous job at the line, as usual. You can always bank on him in those situations. Clarkson against Wall. Shoots over Clarkson. A nice shot by Wall. John Wall. Uh, you have to be aware of where John Wall is, because at this point, he's built his game to be a three-level scorer. The mid-range is pure. Now, here's Clarkson. Basket counts. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. Center stage with the game and the balance. Jordan Clarkson, no problem. To the middle. Here's Unsell. That's in. Coming off an assist from Arenas. And the Wizards lead by six. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Here's Clarkson. 
converts on the jumper for the easy two. Clarkson's got 24. Well, Jordan Clarkson can be a little bit streaky at times, but right now this guy is on fire. And here's Arenas outside. Rebounded by Clarkson. No one near him. Kept alive. Tries again. And he overshot that one, missing. And now we've got the intentional foul. Jordan Clarkson. Fifth personal foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for your home team. Number 16. Here's Washington now. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Number two. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Washington. Gilbert Arenas. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Second of two is good. That puts them up by five. They've got to take the first good shot they can find. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. How about the time? This can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. And they go to the intentional foul. Number 11. Second personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Washington. Gilbert Arenas. Two shots. as he doesn't get the first one to fall. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. To the wing right side. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Washington Who's takes possession. Ball? Here's Washington now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. It's yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there, and that will add to their lead. There's a clean look taken. Tries a three off the inbound. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. The quick hitter from three-point range off the inbound play. They ran that set perfectly. And now they foul and stop the clock. Foul. Fifteen foul. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Fifteen seconds left in the first overtime. Count it! Justin, number 32. 
Here is Wall. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. 16. Second personal foul. Teams in the penalty. John Wall. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. To tie. shot at the buzzer I just cannot believe what we've seen in this game and so we are tied again at the end of overtime now we're headed to overtime number two we'll get right back to the action when we return a game of basketball this has been Perez, covered by Wall. Here's Aguilar. It's tipped. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Gilbert Count that one. A piece of it. Outside wall. Home team foul. Perez. First personal foul. Unzel, the best to Arenas. Hayes trying to break through. Arenas can't hit. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam. Seen some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Now here's Wall. Going inside. And Hayes kicks to Wall. Outside Arenas. Just five on the clock. Beal from long range. That's in coming off an assist from Arenas. Beal's got 22 points. That's a big time delivery from Bradley Beal. Pass to Perez. He's covered by Beal. Pass to Perez. Here's Aguilar. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Side Beal misses the three. Covered by Wall. The pass to Perez. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Two minutes. Let's it fly. It's rebounded by Hayes. Hayes has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Arenas passes to himself. Old team foul. Number 32. Sixth personal foul. Shooting for Washington. Wes Unsell. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he has 
is unable to get the second one. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Out to the right wing. Perez covered by Wall. Shoots the three. It's good from long range. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Now here's Arenas. He's guarding closely. Number two. Fourth person to foul. Shooting for Washington. Gilbert Arenas. Two shots. First one drops, and that will put them up by two. It's a three-point game. You know, he doesn't let that opportunity slip by. Bury some big shots in the line. Well, hit a man in stride. That is a textbook delivery. And it's Washington's ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. At the line for two. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. 102 left to play in the second overtime period. Could not get a winner with just one. It's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. And the Wizards with possession. Outside wall. You'd love to see guys come through in the clutch. A nice play by John Wall. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. Yeah, they have to be careful with the ball. Oh, wow, a huge pass to the tie of the game. Big time bucket there. And guys, you don't have to tell these fans how important that shot was. Washington calls timeout. Side Arenas lets it go with a three. It's good from beyond the arc. And you have to honor the three-point shooting of Arenas, a big-time scorer who's shown the consistency from beyond. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Perez, money, a tremendous three to tie it up. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Pass the wall, back to Arenas. No good. Tries yet again. It's in! Arenas. The defense is key here. Home team. He's covered by Beal. Pass to Aguilar. 
Hits it, and we're going to another overtime. What a phenomenal shot at the buzzer. I just cannot believe what we've seen in this game. And so with overtime two in the books, the game is still not over. Overtime number three coming up, and we'll return shortly. Perez covered by Wall. To take the lead. It's rebounded by Hayes. Down low. Here's Beal. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. Passes it to Aguilar. Here's Perez. They get it back. Makes it off the glass. He's got 20. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here's Unsell. Nice ball movement by Washington. And Hayes throws it down. Whoa, that'll wake you up. He is such a great athlete. Perez covered by Wall. Perez, the pass to Aguilar. Five on the clock. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contents. Second personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your home team, number two. Two shots. First free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. So it's Washington now. Outside Arenas. What a terrific pass. Oh, Work the hey. ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. I got the help outside. He's covered by Arenas. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Two minutes. Arenas brings the double team. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Boy, that's just great passing out of the double team. They have bottled up, but he manages to create an easy basket out of all that pressure. Now here's Arenas. And good that time. Arenas. Arenas has got 40 points. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Here's Aguilar, rebounded by the Wizards. Outside Arenas. Let's a floater go. Aguilar passes to Perez. Here he goes. Softly puts in the floater. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Outside wall. Mid
misses from short range. The pass to Perez. Takes it inside. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. Personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for the home team. Perez taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Washington calls timeout. Washington with the ball. It falls! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. And Eric Spolster wants a timeout. Over to the wing. Beal on the double team. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. The line for your home team. Number 11. At the line for two. He knocks down the clutch free throw. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, timeout and he knocks them both in. Washington calls timeout. Now Hayes kicks it to be it. Just four to shoot. From deep, Wall buries the triple. John Wall. And that was so clutch. Oh, I mean, they're in front by the slimmest of margins in need of a stop right here. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. Believe, so you've got to draw the play to make it happen. And the home team has possession. Into the lineup for your home team. For the win, shot is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And guys, how about this? The officials are indeed signaling a review of the last shot. If the basket is good, we've got a different outcome in this one. Wow. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. The officials have made their decision. The basket, as we thought, will count. Yeah, it took a little while to check the replay, but they did, in fact, have it right. He got it off GA in time. And even though they had it right the first time, it's always a smart move to double check. When it comes to the game-winning shot, you have got to go to replay. And so the home crowd treated to a win. An amazing game lasting multiple overtimes. I mean, definitely an epic game. And while both teams fought hard, I just got the sense they played more with a purpose to win. I mean, all the tension in OT, they have got to be exhausted but happy. What a game. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.